Holy fucking shit. Admin posted Dead Frontier 2 to Steam, as well as giving us another blog post providing us some more information about it. The blog post can be summarized into being that the Steam page was released, the release date was changed from April 2018 to summer 2018, ideally July, and that there has been a lot of improvements to the game since the last blog post made. I'm going to go ahead and play the trailer for you guys without any additional audio and then go back in after and point out some things that I've noticed that some of you may or may not have. As we can see here, we see a return of the search hold E function, as well as animated reloads. Hopefully the audio will be improved a little bit between this and the final release, but as we can see here, the uh, rooms are quite fleshed out. Looks very nice. Skipping ahead, we see a brand new infected here, as well as a bunch of new mechanics. We have a sort of quote unquote aiming crosshair where it takes a little longer for it to zoom in as well as a dodge function, it looks like. We can see one of the icons in the bottom left of the screen drain as he appears to duck down and not take any damage. I would also like to say that that head explosion was absolutely beautiful. Let's watch that again. And this right here we can see the name pop up Dalbo, which is more than likely a subdivision or something of the sort in the city of Fairview just like we had in DF1 the 2D where it was segmented. I'm hoping that the city will be more explorable than it was in 2D and uh, 3D right now but as for right now that's all I've really noticed from the game other than the it seems really fleshed out in terms of placed props and whatnot. I'm very eager to find out what the bloody slash icon on the left could be. Um, not quite too sure. Maybe it's your odds of sustaining a particular status effect or whether you have a status effect such as bleeding. Um, the one below it kind of looks like an experience thing to a bit. The one on the bottom is very obviously sprint as we could see that used in the trailer. I am also really curious as to where the food icons have gone, or if that's just out of the game completely. In any case, uh, thank you guys for listening to me. Uh, I will be covering this as much as I can, as often as I can, as much as admin posts. I will keep you guys updated. This has been Ari Powerplay. I will see you guys later. So, laters.